Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Today I'm going to deploy MySQL RDS in Terraform. So as you see in um, in my previous videos that I've deployed the VPC via Terraform. So instead of deploying it again, um, I've just deployed it uh, in my Frankfurt region. So in this um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can deploy uh, RDS simply by using my Terraform module and these Terraform modules are uh, set up in version 12 Terraform code so uh, these uh, this is the main um, dev directory in which we have main tf variable tf and version dot tf so what I'm going to do is to deploy the RDS code in Frankfurt um, region so let's begin terraform apply dash target is the command which we are going to use for deployment of the RDS uh, module and how you can see you can simply open this uh, module name in the editor or you can browse from the website of the github this is the RDS MS SQL so uh, it will prompt for the password and the username the master admin username currently I put here as a demo and uh, I'm not going to paste the password and it will ask or prompt for the password uh, while uh, it initialize so uh, currently uh, it is showing an error by because uh, I have to run the terraform in it let me just do ls a okay so okay I will be back in a moment so guys I'm back again uh, the thing is that I have uh, I have to push the code to the github repository so what I have done I forgot to uh, get rid of the VPC and I have deleted the you see hidden dot uh, terraform mod uh, terraform uh, folder or terraform uh, dot terraform directory so we have to initialize uh, the module again so what it will do it will um, install download the plugins and create uh, a hidden dot terraform directory in which all the plugins uh, uh, will be set up and you have seen there is no state file so what I've done I, I have actually manually deleted the VPC which I have shown you few few moments ago so um, let it begin once it's done uh, I will show you the terraform um, RDS module but before that uh, we I have to set up the VPC module for the VPC module you can watch my previous videos with regard to the VPC so I'm going to pause well okay it's done so let me show you this is the dot terraform hidden folder so you can explore this uh, folder as well and see the pl plugin and the module and the <coughs> module <coughs> which we have set up is already there in this uh, in this section anyway so um, we are going to deploy the terraform um, apply dash target target module dot vpc so it will ask for the uh, let me show you it will ask for the admin password I will show you why it is asking even we are um, deploying the vpc because um, I have set up the uh, variable for the terraform admin password so it will uh, 
ask for the prompt for the hardy's password but this password will not set up unless we set up the hardy's module so if i go back to my frankfurt region and i'm i'm going to refresh so what i've uh, done here um, i am going to also uh, set up the database module as well so i will be back in a moment with you guys let's deploy the vpc so guys i am back uh, our vpc is set up uh, one thing i need to tell you for the vpc um, while you deploying the database rd database i have what i have done i have uh, set this value to true uh, let me show you this one create database subnet group true and uh, i just need two cider ranges so i have set up this uh, these cider ranges for the database subnets so now we are going to um, deploy our uh, let me sh um, take this error as well okay db subnet group is already existing okay so uh, i have manually uh, deleted this so i have to get rid of i have to remove this uh, subnet group as well okay you will see okay this will this should be removed delete these groups okay so there is default group so um, let me refresh it will prompt for the password Uh, actually what i'm done here uh, instead of hard coding the password in the uh, in this rd section i am using the variable uh, with rds i recommend you guys to use the aws secrets uh, it is a very good service uh, to manage your rd secrets so uh, i will also um, will provide module with regard to the aws secrets uh, manager and so what currently what i am doing is to uh, just provide you guys the module with regard to the rds so uh, let me set our uh, set up our vpc and we are going to then um, go for the rds so it is fine now now i'm going to simply deploy the rds uh, mysql so you can uh, it will prompt for the password again so i will provide the eight character uh, password so simply i'm going to uh, provide the eight characters so uh, in a few moments you will see the rds will be deployed let me go to the d dashboard uh, it is checking the uh, database subnets I find the database subnets and I'm going to say yes to it and I'm going to use the security group which I've shown you guys in my previous video the security group it is going to use the cloud legend dev web reference so it will create it but there will be no rules in it so uh, for that you will watch my video with regard to the security groups terraform security groups if i refresh it you will see uh, 1 slash 40 so wait for a moment you see uh, it is started deploying the RDS MySQL. So um, I'm calling this uh, database as a WordPress DB. Uh, one thing I need to tell you: you have to be uh, really patient 
because it will take approx about 10 to 11 minutes so uh, till then I'm going to pause the video and so you uh, show you some um, subnet group you see um, uh, th uh, this is the um, uh, terraform database subnet group which is created so I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back with you guys in a moment while it is deploying so guys currently it is uh, in deploying state two minutes has gone by um, what this uh, has created actually is created the two uh, subnet group one subnet group and DB subnet group is with regard to the let me show you guys when you enable the value true uh, create database subnet group it will create your environment uh, like you're setting up a dev so uh, this will create the dev subnet group but um, as of uh, now deploying the wordpress so i've using the same variable of wordpress db as uh, let me show you with the database name so i'm calling this so these both are interlink interlink um this is with regard to the uh, with regard to the database uh, cider ranges anyway um, i have to wait seven minutes more and i will be back after seven minutes so guys five minutes are gone so i need to show you something you see and the security group uh, it is using the web uh, reference security group um, and if i open this you will find uh, no rules in the security group so you have to watch my previous video why uh, it has no rules so you simply have you have to simply deploy the uh, terraform web reference security group module and these rules will be appear here and in these rules um, i am going to reference the my web server as a reference i am going to open the port 3306 and uh, reference the web server security group here in this section so this thing i need to show you so you see uh, these are the subnets these are the database subnets let me open here and in the console so you see it is a dev uh, subnet one and the other is as i'm using the two subnets only so uh, it will show the two subnets and this is subnet two so if you see the route table uh, it um, as i'm using the only one NAT gateway so um, it will also use the same NAT gateway uh, one thing i need to show you guys with regard to the parameters you can change the parameters for instance um, final snapshot name i am giving this you can give this your own name so skip final snapshot true which means that when i i'm going to destroy the rds infrastructure so it will not take any snapshot because it is demo i am not going to take any snapshot the this rds allocated storage 5 means 5 gb so for this demo i don't need any much storage gp2 t2 micro uh, i am using here this is the mysql version and um, and this is the demo so a uh, demo uh, with regard to the username password i've shown you already 
so storage is encrypted set set to fault and deletion protection knives also set to false so uh, this is the you see in db instance class is dbt2 micro i'm using here so these are the parameters you can change with regard to your requirement and uh, you see in subnet ids i have only given the database subnets as a module so i don't have to manually provide these ids as it will take automatically when the vpc is deployed so nine minutes are gone as i've told you it will take usually about 10 minutes for its deployment if i go to the section of the database and if i go to the database you see it saying the status saying modifying so usually take 10 to 11 minutes for the deployment the region is going to be eu central one uh, and as far as uh, the security groups i've already show you that you have to use my uh, security group modules so that would be fine then so that is how easy you can um, set up the RDS module module in Terraform so it is completed and if I refresh it you see it is in available state so that is it thank you please like and share of my video have a nice day thank you